towards midweek. Uh, it's actually behind the chance for snow. It's not snow with this alert. Uh, what, what were <laughs> yes, that's that, that is the good. The, the, there is some in my seven day forecast, though. Not good. <laughs> yeah, Not good. let's get to the good news first. We are going to warm up, but the wind will also accompany this warm up. And especially as a cold front works through on Wednesday, winds could gust to 60 miles per hour well to the north. That's where the strongest winds are, why they have a high wind watch up in Jefferson County. So it could be severe up there. Uh, only a slight wind in some portions of central New York. So I've kind of took in the middle of the ground with a moderate level. Here's our next weather maker. A little snow on the north, a little rain to the south, and I think we're going to get both of those when this comes together over central New York tomorrow morning. The mix will be light, so I'm not thinking any snowfall accumulation. The exception, Tug Hill, Adirondacks, maybe a slushy inch. But generally, it's a cold rain that will be developing as this moisture moves on in, and our temperatures have yet to warm up. They will eventually warm up, though. So we're at 45 right now. We look back to the south and southwest, not extremely warm. So it looks like as this rain and snow moves on in, temperatures will struggle to get up, especially with an easterly wind. A lot of the day tomorrow in the 30s, lower 40s later in the afternoon with rainfall and a bit of a breeze, kind of ugly. But the better news is it will lift to the north and we will warm into the 50s and quite a bit so behind the warm front as we get towards Tuesday night and Wednesday morning. So it's raw with a mix going over to periods of rain tomorrow, becoming windy and mild, especially late night, early Wednesday, mid 50s, 55, 56 degrees. There'll be a strong wind and that'll crash the temperatures. By the end of the day, we're talking some snow showers and flurries. So here's the future cast at 11 o'clock tonight, partly cloudy, becoming mostly cloudy and overcast by dawn. And then towards 7, 8, 9 a.m., a light wintry mix moves on in. Any snow will be light and it will quickly change over to rain. The exception, the Tug Hill and the Adirondacks. There you can still see at 2 o'clock a chance for some snow mixing in. The rest of us, kind of ugly. I know, have the, the rain jacket and umbrella. That should lift to the north, though. Late in the evening, we dry out some. This becomes more very isolated. We'll really warm. A line of showers and thunderstorms possible at night, around midnight, 1 o'clock in the morning. And then the cold front comes through in the morning the next day, Wednesday. So 30 degrees tonight, not as cold with increasing clouds. Your forecast for tomorrow, up to 43 degrees. A light wintry mix goes over to periods of rain. The wind a little bit on the brisk side, 5 to 20. Along with that temperature, it will feel raw. 43 but rising tomorrow night. We hit 56. This is going to be right around the morning commute. You'll head out. You'll think no need for a jacket, right? Well, that is not the right answer, Mr. Brookins, because we'll fall into the 30s and some rain showers will change over to scattered snow showers and flurries. Morning snow showers Thursday. We're in the 30s. A wintry mix for Friday. A chance for accumulation there. Snow showers up north of Onondaga County Saturday. Morning flurry on Sunday. And these temperatures are a struggle in the extended forecast, guys.